many people coming together, of course, remembering members of the armed forces who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. WAT 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm has been live at the Honor Fountain City Festival. Laura, you spoke with several people what, about what Memorial Day means to them. Yeah, that's exactly right, Lori and Kristen. We've seen American flags, uh, red, white, and blue, and we've heard so many stories from families today uh, with their thoughts on what Memorial Day really stands for them. A ceremony recognizing those sacrifices uh, made by our soldiers wrapped up just a few hours ago. That's where we heard the 21 gun salute and taps from East Tennessee Honor Guard. We've been out here all day and there have just been so many powerful moments as families shared what Memorial Day really stands for. We are one of the few countries that actually dedicate days to their soldiers, to our veterans, and thanks to them we are able to have days like this, to enjoy with family, to enjoy our freedom as a country, as an individual, as families. Memorial Day is just a day to be celebrated, not a day to be mourned. It is a day to celebrate to me. I don't think you should mourn the people that have passed away. I think you should celebrate what they have done uh, before they passed away. My great-grandfather, um, he served in World War II and we never got to meet him. I like to think about him on Memorial Day because it makes me think about how he liberated so many people and how he just helped with everything that was going on in the world at the time. Now, I also spoke with a Vietnam era veteran who served in the Army. He was drafted once he graduated from college. He says today he's thinking of 11 soldiers that he served with overseas who didn't make it home. And he's also thankful for how our entire country is really stepping up and thanking Vietnam veterans. Uh, for now, reporting live in Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Laura, thank you so much.